What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Planetary Gamers. My name is Brandon and I know you guys can't see anything so give me just one second. <laughs> and there we go. You guys should be able to see it a little bit better there. Let's see. Get this adjusted in here just right. Looks almost perfect. And here we go. There we are. All right, cool. How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Planetary Gamers. My name is Brandon, and tonight we're going to be doing some Elite Dangerous. Specifically, we're going to be doing the Road to Fleet Carrier. Uh, so this should be pretty fun. This should be cool. Uh, we're going to be on the credit grind again, but we're going to do some different varied things that I hope will uh, be entertaining, enlightening, and uh, help you guys out there on your quest for Fleet Carrier. So... Uh, should be a good time. We, we are in system with a couple other players. Uh, unfortunately, Deimos couldn't make it tonight. Um, he had some other obligations going on, so that's okay. Uh, but he may join us in the future next time. So, uh, yeah, we are here at Robigo. Specifically, we are at the, uh, Robigo system at Robigo Mines. Um, and we're at a station, but the interesting thing is there's a player here um, I don't know this player. This is a random player online. Um, but you'll notice on our little HUD down there. Whoops, I got to back up a little bit. I was a little too close. Uh, there we go. So on the HUD down here, you'll see a little a little empty box um, or kind of a hollow box. And that is a real player. So that's another person. And I love this guy's name. So I just had to show you guys this uh, when we logged in. But when you scan him, <laughs> his name is Commander mm, Microwave. <laughs> so, uh, I let him have the pad. I know he's AFK and, and he's chilling, so uh, if we can't get on this pad, that's totally fine. Uh, but I do need to at least get in here and try my best to sell at this station um, because I need to drop off my passengers before... I go do some other adventures and stuff. So, but I did want to show you guys this. So this is the station that we're at. This is the pad specifically that we're looking for. And it's such a small station that um, realistically, there's only us and this one other pad, but this other pad doesn't support our size. It's a small pad. So we are too big to be able to fit on this small pad. Same with this one. So there's two small pads and a medium pad. And unfortunately, our friend Microwave is taking up our medium pad that we need to land. And so this is us here in our little python. Well, I shouldn't say little. It's huge. But <laughs> so, yeah, so there we are right there inside the cockpit looking around, having a good old time. And hopefully we can get on this pad. If not, I'm not sure quite really how what we're going to be able to do. We might be able to jump out and jump back um, and he'll be gone. I'm not sure. There are a couple other um, NPC ships around here, but there were like two other players that were looking to land also. So not really the coolest thing in the world to do um, holding up a pad like this. It's kind of lame actually. Um, but hey, people are going to do what they're going to do. So, all right, let's jump out. So what I'll do is I'll try to jump out and see if I can come back and um, maybe we can get onto the pad. So let's see. So let's go out here, circle around a little bit, lock in Super Cruise Assist, and we should be able to drop back on Robigo Mines and see if we can get in here. Like I said, I just want to get in here to drop off my passengers. I have a full load of passengers um, that are desperate to get home to their little station. And, oh... There we go. We're dropping in. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now let's see. Is he still on the pad? Maybe not. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see. Can we dock? Ah, man. I think he's still going to be on the pad. Yep. So the other ships you see flying around, they're NPC ships. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, our friend Microwave, he's still down there on the pad. Having a good old time. Um, I can't. I know what some of you might be thinking. I can't shoot him off the pad. I can't blow him up. Otherwise, the cops will definitely be after me. And I have some illegal cargo on board. As you can see, I have some illegal passengers uh, that are trying to come here to Robigo. 
So no dice. Um, I could go out to solo play. I don't like to go out to solo play. Um, but it may end up being what we have to do because unfortunately our friend here is taking up the pad. So yeah, let's do that. Kind of a weird way to start the game, but let's exit out here to the main menu and try to get onto a, uh, onto a solo session. All right, here we go. All right. So it looks like it put us in space above Robigo mines. So let's see if we can, ah, that didn't work. I don't want to go in the system map. The station should be right over here. Let's see. There it is. All right, there's our station. Hopefully we can get clearance to land now. That would be good. Oh, got to get a little bit closer. And let's see. Can we request it? Ah, man. Even in solo play, the NPCs are taking up all the slots. Well, it's that one right there. It's the large one that we're trying to land on. It looks like somebody should be taking off from that pad, though. So we may get clearance to land on it here very shortly. Or someone landing on it. That That is why the color is yellow. I think someone's coming in to land on it. So let's see. So there's two ships coming into pads three and four. And there's probably a ship coming in. Yep, there he is to come in and land on five. So as soon as he gets done on five, we will be free and clear to land and get rid of our passengers. So that's kind of annoying. We got <laughs> blocked by an NPC landing at the pad. There they go. They set down on the pad. Let's see if uh, if we can get in here in a minute. So what have you guys been up to? Anything new? Anything fun and exciting going on in the in the in the real worlds and the real lives? So pretty exciting things happening out here in the in the um, in the galaxy. That's for sure. I'll have to tell you guys more about that in a little bit. But uh, I wanted to wanted to poll you guys. What's uh, what's going on? How you been? Any new news? Also, let me change my uh, sound output here. And there we go. So you guys might have some some game sounds. There we go. Okay. I don't hear much of anything either, so. But you guys will be able to hear the engines and thrusters and stuff now. Alright, the two little ships just took off. Let's see, can we get the mid sized ship to take off? That'd be great. Come on, dude, I wanna land. There he goes. Okay. Looks like he's coming to take off. There we go. Swings it around. And up. And there he goes. All right, he's taking off. So we will have to wait for the pad to reset. It's going to keep saying denied until the pad resets um, for landing. But perfect. No big deal. Totally fine. All right, so there we go. Let's see. And there we go. Now we got the pad. Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's get in there. Using our uh, auto dock computer to set us down on the pad. So we'll lock in here at number five. Keep it turned around and go into the flare. Oh, going to do like a weird rotating flare. All right. <laughs> the automated dock computer has style. And here we go in three, two, one. All right, perfect. Down onto the pad, got illegal passengers, like I said, but no big deal uh, because the cops didn't find us this time. <laughs> perfect. All right, let's get in here and make some credits. Oh, 4.5 mil going into the bank, perfect. 2.3 mil going into the bank also. 1.5, not bad. And 1.5, not bad. All right, now let's see what we got under here. Ah, oh, we got three more. 5.005, 4.1, and 4.4. Hey, all right. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, cool. So uh, let's get out of here. I am going to go pick up my Jumpaconda. 
uh, rightfully named. And we will leave the passenger sector. And I think we'll go mining. What do you guys think? What would you guys be interested in doing? You want to go mining? You want to do passenger missions? What would uh? What do you guys think would be the most fun? And then I'll tell you guys uh, while we're jumping about the. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I guess we could do like one or two more passenger missions while we figure out what we want to do. Let me see. We got two point eight three five. Yeah, I'm hoping to I'm hoping to hit three three bill today. I think that's gonna be my goal, is to hit um, three billion credits. I think that'll be a good stopping point for today. Uh, so yeah, let's go. I guess we'll go back to Robigo Mines, uh, real quick, so we can do some more uh, passenger missions, and then we might go mining. Unless you guys want to go mining now. Oh, did I lose the pad? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm not going to keep messing with this. Let's go get some real credits. What do you guys think? Alright, I'm looking for Hosser Terminal. Any luck? Um. Huh. Yeah, I'm not finding. Let me see. I mean, there's so many fleet carriers in this section or sector. Or uh, system. All right, let's try this. Stations. There it is. Yeah, we'll throttle up too. All right, let's go. Cool, cool. Away we go. Oh, got to throttle up even further. Perfect. All right, here we go. Off to Hosser's Reach. Oh, why did it throttle down like that? That's weird. Okay. Because like I said, we'll go get the Jumbaconda and we'll head out to the, uh, we'll head back to the bubble. Right now we're currently outside the bubble. I'll show you guys where we're at while we uh, coast over there. So currently we are out here at Robigo. Uh, we've been running passenger missions between Seos and Sothis, uh, which is right over here. And currently, if we look at the power play map, you'll see that this is how far outside of the bubble we are. So uh, pretty far out, not not too terribly bad um but it's still going to be about 12 jumps give or take maybe nine depending on um weight and stuff um until we get back to the bubble but i think that's going to be the way to go to make uh to make big credits so i've got a couple ships out there right in the middle and then i've got another couple out here on the edge so not bad all right let's go all right, how much further we got? We got about 30 seconds. Let's see. Right, got about seven seconds left until we get there. And like I said, we're going to grab our Jumpaconda and head out. Coming in right on the edge of the ring here. I wonder if there's any... Um wonder if there's any good mining spots in the ring here. I'd have to double check. That could be pretty cool, though. Alright, coming in here to Hosser's Reach. I really like this planet, by the way. It's super cool looking. Alright, 
yeah, it's definitely it's setting us up very slowly because of the um, the proximity to the planet. Got to go really slow. There we go. Hey, there's somebody else coming in. Dag Vigo Lokian. Oh, he's wanted. He's a hauler. He's a little guy. That's interesting. Huh. I don't have any combat ships out here. Not that I would do that anyway. I think that would be rude. <laughs> what do you guys think? Good idea, bad idea? I don't know. Maybe not a good idea to... to piss off the locals. <laughs> Alright, let's go into Hoster's Reach. I really like the station too, by the way. And it's right on the edge of the of the asteroid belt, so you could easily go down there, pick up some materials, and come right back here and sell them. So that'd be cool too. All right. We'll get a little bit closer and uh, request docking. All right, approach to pad three zero. You are clear for automated approach, Commander. Whoa. All right, automated approach. Line ourselves up with the entrance. There we go. And we'll go ahead and come on in. Alright, we got landing gear down. Coming in here to pad 3-0 at Hoster's Reach. Gonna quickly flip out for our uh, Anaconda. And head to I Indy. Should be where our uh, where our mining rig is set up. Not bad. Alright, starboard services. So I'll leave it up to you guys. Do you guys want to run passenger missions? Do you think we, we should do um, mining, or do we should we do some trading? Because that's what I'm not sure about yet. Because if we did go do trading, I know that there's some pretty good uh, there's some pretty good spots for trading um, that were available earlier. I saw them. Um, let me see some pretty good trade routes. Uh, yeah, they're they're about twenty nine thousand credits um, per per run per rotation. I think so. That may not not be the worst idea in the world. Uh, let me see where my um, where my trading ship is because it where it's located all depends on what profit is around it. Yeah, let's see here real quick. So my uh my hauler is currently well it's not a hauler, it's my type nine. But my type nine is currently at I Indy, so that should be the area that we check for um any good trade routes. So let's see. Yeah, it actually looks like uh there's it's not too bad. Looks like there's a pretty good trade route over at um, Thompson Vision and Yang Orbital for about 29,000 credits. So that's 22 mil an hour. We could go do that, but no matter what, we got to go to uh, IND anyway. So let's grab our jump Aconda. Uh I think, actually, there's one more thing I wanted to do. I wanted to rename this ship. So that way it's not just named Python. Let's go ahead and pay 10 credits to repaint. Because the paint got scuffed up a little bit. Uh, and I think... It's not the hollow me. Is it outfitting? I can never remember. I swore it was like advanced maintenance or something.
Let's see. We'll go in here and double check. Uh, no, I don't think it's outfitting. Let's try the advanced maintenance. Ooh, ship integrity. Yeah, we'll pay to fix that. Um, general services. Fuel store. Oh, okay, so that's our fuel, restock, and repair. Make all our repairs. I'm wondering where the... Is it livery? I think it's under livery. Yeah, it's it's an odd place. Yeah, it's down here. Change the nameplate. There we go. Python name, uh, or ship name. Um, what do I want to call it? What's a good name for like a passenger ship? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's call it the Sothis Cruiser. Ship ID is going to be PSNGR. Nice. Cool. Because this is what this does. This ship basically just stays right here at Sothis and um, does passenger missions. And I'm trying to give names to all of my like major ships that I use all the time. So like the Anaconda is the Jumpaconda. Uh, the, this one is now known as the... Um, let me see. Well, actually, I wouldn't show it until we switch to the Jumpaconda. But yeah. Um, so now this one will be the the Sothis Cruiser, and some stuff like that. Cool, cool. All right. Even though it's backing us in here to the outfitting shop, uh, I think we are ready to go i don't think there's anything else that we need to pick up here i don't think we're yeah we can't transfer anything because there's a zero out of zero cargo capacity uh so i believe this ship is ready to take off so let's do it oh i forgot to mention to you guys too so there's actually um i'm using a guardian frame shift drive booster um so it enables this ship to actually go an extra 10 light years for every single jump that it does so now instead of like 12 trips to the bubble or sorry 12 light years to the bubble uh, this ship will only take, I think, um, nine jumps, but we'll have to see how it goes. So let's do it. Go ahead and do this. Of course, if we have the opportunity, I would love to use, um, the blue line here as well, instead of the gold line, because the gold lines you notice are very small, whereas the blue lines are much longer jumps. Uh, but it looks like we're only going to get lucky with like one of them. So how many jumps is this? That's uh, 10. So that's about uh, it's about where I said it would be. And so I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to go for uh, 10 jumps instead of like 12 or 13 with the Guardian Frameship Booster. All right, let's go. We're free and clear. Oh, oh our, uh, our transfer is blocked. So... Let's go ahead and aim out this way, away from the ring and away from the planet. And we're going to have to jump. So there we go. Mass locked. There we go. Hold on to your butts. All right. So what this is going to do is we're going to be moving away from the planet and the ring. Here we go. And we'll fly out past it. And then once we get far enough out, we can turn back and make our jump. So that's what's going to happen here. And here we go. 
Very, very cool. All right. Here we go. Woo. All right. We got about nine more jumps to go. Go ahead and jump around this star here. All right, we almost got a full tank of gas again off of scooping from that star. And we're gonna head out again. Oh yeah, so I wanted you guys to hear the, uh, the Galnet news too. I wanted to tell you about that while we were jumping. So basically what happened is, um, I'll have to see if I can bring it up during this jump. So if we go over here, um, basically what happened was, um, let me see, is there a way for me to bring up the, the thing? Well, maybe not, because it'll just, it'll bring up uh, a full panel thing. So let's see. Well, maybe I'll just let her tell you, but uh, basically what happened was the uh, systems that have humans in them, right? Um, they were attacked today. Maybe I could read it off the page. It would be easier to describe. Let me double check here real quick. Security report, extreme threat and serious. Uh, I want to see, man, where is that story at? Because there's a big story. I mean, it was a, it's a, it's a big problem that just came out today. Is it on the bulletin board? No. Where is that story? It was on here earlier. Ah, here we are. Here we are. Galnet News. Okay, so. Basically, what happened was there was a Pilot Federation alert that went out today. Um, and apparently, some explosions struck starports across the Alliance, Empire, and Federation in a coordinated bombing attack by the NMLA. Um, and I can't remember exactly what the NMLA is uh, short for. But essentially, um, some capital ships of all three superpowers, uh, which are Akinar, Alioth, and Sol, um, have been targeted by the terrorist organization as well as six other high population systems um, The precise casualty numbers as of today are unavailable, but several hundred thousand people have been killed with many more injured So that's insanity like it's it's crazy. It's it's really nuts uh, Insanity by the way <laughs> Sorry, I know I said that weird um, But it's it's insane. It really is It's nuts Uh I didn't mean to do that. I double tapped the wrong button. Okay, we'll be out here going in just a second. Uh, but yes, yeah, so... Uh, basically, there are urgent calls now for commanders that are out among the stars um, to rescue survivors and support repair operations to the nine different locations all across the system. Because apparently there was nine different individual attacks um, all at the same time. So it was a coordinated attack. Um, so it says here, the explosive damage to each station is consistent with corrosive enzyme weapons previously used by the NMLA. Um, and the Alliance Defense Force, Federal, yeah, Federal Navy, and Imperial Navy are on full alert with other militaries and security forces across the core systems preparing for possible further attacks. Um, also, so there was a thing called the Galactic Summit going on at the same time. So it was a meeting of the minds in, um, Sirius, which is a, uh, system where they were going to talk about, um, Thargoid attacks and some major things that were going on. That has been suspended indefinitely considering that, you know, things are getting pretty hairy. So crazy stuff, man. 
So I'm hoping to see if there's not going to be something that comes about from this. Um, because my personal stance on it is while I, while I want to go help um, and go um, rescue some of the survivors, um, I definitely take a greedier stance, I think, um, in the overall galactic viewpoint, right? Or at least my, my player does. Um, and so because he's a for-profit pilot, um, it's it's gonna take quite a bit of uh, swaying to keep him from uh, working towards his goals of eventually being a fleet carrier captain. So um, that being said, we'll have to see how uh, things progress with this information, and if there may be a possible reward for saving some of the survivors. So keep uh, keep your ears out for that as well. That'll be really interesting. Uh, following the the news that just came out, I mean it's pretty pretty wild. But at the same time, um, I may not join the fight until uh, until such time that the credits become uh, priority. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, interesting things are happening for sure in the galaxy. So, and I like reading what other commanders have going on as well. Um, for instance. Um, uh, a story here comes a story in from one of the other commanders that actually went to Li King Zhao uh, station or system. Um, he basically states that as soon as the alerts went out on Galnet, he went straight to work. Uh, apparently, he has another another commander with him named Annie, who he says read his mind immediately, um, and they went to go get her Diamondback Explorer uh, and outfitted it to be prepared to assist um and he says oh it looks like they coordinated it with like four or five different commanders um and they all took off at the same time um let's see Yeah, apparently they arrived at the station at, at a station in Saul, and um, he states that the controller sounded stressed and out of breath, stating, "Attention, Commander, we heard him say, or excuse me, Attention, Commander, this is Federal Flight Control. The station is undergoing emergency evac. If you do not intend to assist in the rescue effort, do not attempt to land." Uh, so they got granted access to land. Uh. Man, this is wild. So, basically, they got granted access to land, um, and they prepared for sudden course adjustments uh, upon entry. And they're stating that the um, as soon as they got to the entrance, they could see and hear how bad the damage was, and they state that it was something out of Dante's Inferno. Uh, there was huge sulfurous clouds inside the station. Um and there was a ton of like sirens and emergency lights going off, um, giving it quite a hellish shade. Uh, once they made it through the entrance, there was debris everywhere, and there was huge jagged um, pieces of metal blocking their path on their way in, uh, as well as multiple shards of uh, floating debris um, blocking the docking bay. Um, they said that the closer that they got to the pad, the more noisy the um, the sounds became. And as soon as they landed, they let out a sigh of relief. Um, I'd like to. I, I want to see more about this. Like, I, I want to know if they actually were able to rescue anyone. Uh, so far, so good. Is from what I can skim from this, it says the. Um, it says the commander immediately pulled up to the passenger list as soon as they were able to. Um, they accepted um, personnel to board, uh, and they guided the people onto their ship so that way they could leave. They state that the people look scared, disheveled, um, and confused, but um, 
they were able to get him out of there unharmed. So, really cool stuff. By the way, this uh, commander, it's its in their commander logbook. If you want to read the whole thing, I don't have a link to it. But it's from Commander Dog, uh, Commander Dog Zebra Prime. Uh, and that's the thats the individual who uh, coordinated this effort to uh, go protect the other citizens. So, really, really cool stuff. Let's see. I'll give you guys a little bit of a, a literature read here too, uh, but I got to keep jumping. <laughs> uh, but I like this. This is a this is a really cool journal entry um, by another commander that I think is really really interesting. Um, so we'll go ahead and get jumping, and then I'll explain this. So, basically, uh, the commander in question is Elder Rook, uh, and they are an explorer slash freelancer. Um, and I'll read you guys the story as we keep jumping here. So this commander says, Well, I guess maybe I'm just getting old. That must be the case. I remember when I was younger, and people who I thought of them as who I thought of then as old would say things to me that I now think of most of the younger generation. It certainly makes me feel old. Truth is, I'm okay with that. I'd rather be the way I am than the way most of the kids are these days. I'll get, go ahead and execute our jump here. There we go. He states that he is an explorer by trade. Sure, I can do more than that. I started out flying a passenger vessel and even dabbled in mining when he bought his first ship. He said he can fight when he needs to also but doesn't claim to be the best that there ever was. Sure enough, though, uh, someone will come along... Or sure enough... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> How do I read this? Sure enough that someone will come along to prove otherwise as soon as you start claiming to be something special. That's true. I feel that. Uh, it was always the lure of exploration that drew in this particular pilot. Oh, we gotta get some gas. Here, we'll go ahead and go scoot for a second. Uh... He said he's an explorer by trade, but he can sure do more than that. Uh, he started flying a passenger vessel, then passenger vessel, then dabbled in mining, uh, and also did a little bit of combat. But it was always the lure of exploration that drew him to the pilot's chair. Long ago in a previous life, he made a name for himself. Uh, he was close to achieving the vaunted triple elite status right before an incident happened. Uh, so... They said they really can't say more than that. It was basically just an incident. Uh, and that it would be a story for another day. But right now they want to gripe about the state of exploration in the galaxy. <laughs> Specifically saying, that's right, call me a grouchy old man. He doesn't mind. <laughs> he takes it as a badge of honor. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, they claim to have been to the galaxy and back uh, to one end of the galaxy and back uh, they've been to more worlds for the first time than most of <laughs> alright I'm just going to read it off the page this is just, just so funny to me um, but let's go ahead and keep rolling here too uh, let's see He says, I've been to one side of the galaxy and back regardless as to what my new pilot status says. I've been to more worlds for the first time than most of these punks calling themselves explorers today. And I did that while most of them were still asking their mama for an allowance. I've even come across one of the worlds I discovered back then. Sure is funny to see my old name there on the explorer's registry. Now I'm known as Commander Relzar? Hmm. Oh yeah, go ahead and make your jokes. The old man can't even figure out how the caps lock key works <laughs> yeah there I go again back to the subject at hand exploration today so this commander in particular is griping about uh, the state of exploration in the galaxy and basically how they figured that it could be made better so it says it sure it sure wasn't what it was when I was young back then I didn't have all the newfangled gadgets in the cockpit to help you not that I have anything against progress but it took a certain skill and a hell of a lot of guts back then 
These days, no one appreciates the tech, they take it for granted. Machines that repair your ship at the push of a button? Yeah, we had to land and effect the repairs ourselves back then, with whatever spare parts we'd been smart enough to take with us. It was no cakewalk, I'll tell you that much. Of course, back then, we were actually interested in being explorers. Kids these days can't be bothered to put in any real work. They just want to make a fast buck at it and be on their way. Well, let me tell you something, Sonny. No explorer worth salt has ever went into business trying to make it rich. We did it for the thrill of the discovery, for the right to put our name on the registry. Not for some get-rich-quick scheme. What am I talking about, you say? Fair question. Sit down and I'll explain something to you. Provided you have the patience to listen, of course. Is it about time your mama was handing out that allowance? Oh, this is good. Oh, by the way, this isn't my this isn't my work, guys. Like I said, this is uh, Commander uh, Elder Rook. So I hope you guys like this. Uh, I just got back from a little jaunt into the void, only about ten thousand light years out. A shakedown run, you might say. I can't tell you the number of times I came across a system that had only one or two worlds registered by the Pilots Association. I'm talking about shifting into a sus supposedly unexplored system with a dozen or more bodies identified by the discovery scanner or one or two worlds having been analyzed with the full spectrum scanner. Oh. Oh, darn. <laughs> I realize now that I, I needed that, uh, that I needed that star here. Let's get back on course and then, uh, then I'll read some more of the, the thrilling tale by Elder Rook. All right, here we go. About 500 light seconds out. Okay, let's go ahead and speed up here. There it is, little bitty neutron star. We're just looking to get into the uh, the tail end of the, the little wisps down there. There we go. Right out here. Elder Rook seems like the goat. Yo, I wanted to. Uh, yeah, I wanted to send this uh, story to you. It's pretty sick. <laughs> There we go. Oh, it's a white dwarf. I thought it's a neutron star. They're not neutron stars? There we go. Now we can make a jump. Oh, read bottom left. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Forgot I was targeting it. All right. Ah! Let me click it. There we go. Cool. There we go. And away we go. All right, so, uh, like I was saying, uh, so basically he mentioned that he, um, he was talking about how shifting into a supposedly unexplored system with a dozen or more bodies identified by the discovery scanner and one or two worlds having been analyzed with the full spectrum scanner. Uh, he said, what the hell is that about anyway? You fly all the way out to sun system far off from the bubble and you only bother to scan a couple of the planets? 
What's the matter? You got a hot game of virtual tiddlywinks going with the onboard computer and can't be bothered to finish the job? What the heck is wrong with this generation? That actually sounds something like something uh, Deimos had earlier, where he didn't understand why half the system was scanned and the other half wasn't. <laughs> Dude, are you Elder Rook? <laughs> Did you literally just write this story? That's hilarious. Yeah, you're not the only one out there, Deimos. Apparently, uh, <laughs> apparently Elder Rook feels your pain of wondering why only half the system is scanned. There we go. We'll go break through that. He said, "Time was we took, time was we took pride in our work. We didn't just put in the minimum effort and call it a day. We put our blood, sweat, and tears into the work we did, because that work mattered. Nowadays, you gank a guy. What the proper name? I I can't I can't tell what he was going for here. But he says, nowadays you you." blank a guy what the proper name is for his FSS FSS yes and he'll give you a blank look start talking to him about signal waveforms and the filtered signal analysis and his eyes will glaze over that's not exploration you get the honor of being the first one to visit a system you darn well better finish the job you came there for you take the time to at least analyze each world in the bloody full spectrum scanner I'm not asking you to map out each planet here. I realize your attention span is a finite resource for you and wouldn't want to tax you with the point that you actually start to care about your profession. Besides, if you can't handle the full spectrum, span <laughs> full spectrum scanner, I sure as heck can't imagine trying to explain the function of the detailed surface scanner to you. Oh, this is amazing. It's, it's like a, it's, it's a sea salty rant and I love it. Oh, this is great. You kids today are taking the fun out of exploration. If I shift into another system where the only planet to be scanned is the Earth-like world, I swear I'm going to scream. It's only a shame that in space no one can hear you scream. And yes, that's a reference for all the other old-timers like me out there. I realize you do this because the only worlds that pay out well are the ELW and the water worlds. You know what? I don't care. It's a lousy way to make money in the first place and makes you look too lazy to be allowed to call yourself a commander in the first place. Maybe surface mining is more your speed. Or you could spend your days flying rich source around the synthesis system if you're in, in it for the money. But if you're calling... Or, sorry. Uh, but if you're going to call yourself an explorer, at least take some pride in what you do and finish the job. Hey, maybe one day you'll even take the time to land on one of those worlds you discovered. Not because it pays well, but because you might understand the point of exploration. Being the first one there. Happy flying, kids. <laughs> Dude, I love this. This is amazing. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> that was a great read. I need to read more of these. These are fantastic. And it really breathes life into the game, too. It's it's a way to see the game through someone else's eyes uh, instead of just the uh, instead of just the gameplay directly. So I really enjoyed that. That was great. All right, let's get over here to Farkas, and uh, I'll see if I can load us up another story here. Oh, he's got a bunch. Oh yeah, he puts he puts in the time, man. He he writes a bunch of stuff. <laughs> do you want to explore now? I sure do. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, he didn't change my mind. Uh, let's see. Some folks are writing it in Spanish. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one's going to be good. I can tell just by, from the title. Entry number 51. Not how I expected to visit Saul. I bet this is going to be about today. Logbook. Commander Salen, Eldridge, Saul system. Ship audio log. It's happened again. The station's burning. Oh, God. It's so much worse this time. So many more stations. The NMLA hit a ton of different stations across the bubble. I was hunting pirates in Sirius, but this is more important. Oh my god. I had to pick up my anaconda from the Procyon system next to Sirius, then a quick jump to refit the ship for 144 emergency passengers. No fuel scoop, no cargo holds. This. This is the ship I needed before. Back when I tried to help when I was flying with Corsair. Or flying my Corsair. The Eldridge has more space. I can move so many more off of Leaking Zhao here in the Sol system. It was the closest station I could help with. I 
I never made time to visit Seoul. Even if after I got my permit, I never. Oh goodness, sorry. I, I never made it made time to visit Seoul. Even after I got my permit to enter the system. Now, now that I have nothing but time to look at the Earth, between refueling and offloading refugees from the station, onto the rescue ship. Refueling services just finished up. Time to roll. At least this time I can help more. <laughs> Recording ends. Oh, what is this? What's a shiny? Oh, sweet. Oh, I, cool. I can like his thing. That's neat. Very cool. I really should. Uh, I really should uh, claim my uh, claim my title on here because a lot of people have like trader slash privateer and stuff like that. So I should definitely. Uh, I should definitely fit my my person with uh, a title. Let's go ahead and uh, move on in here to Farkas stock, and then I'll I'll do that. A little closer. There we go. Let's see. I'm not exactly sure how to, uh... Oh, miscellaneous and signature? Let me see. Oh, here we go. Okay, my license, rank, trade, background, uh, let's see, signature, Inara, signature line one, trade rank, I think that's right. I'm not sure. Ooh, there's a story that literally just hit in Russian. This uh, this story just popped up in Russian. Ooh, very nice screenshots though. Yeah, unfortunately I won't be able to read his story. <laughs> My apologies, I'm not very good at uh, speaking Russian. Oh, easy now. Don't scratch the paint. Oh man, you know we might we might actually go do a rescue mission. We might go uh, pick up some passengers. Uh, now I think do they count as passengers or cargo? I didn't quite get that from the uh, from the information. Maybe I could check Galnet on my way in. Let's see, because we are at the system where my trader is, so we could either do mining or trading. And by trading, I mean we could actually pick up some, uh, some passengers. Uh, let's see, power play, hourly update. Uh, here we go. Nine, there it is. Uh, let's listen to it. Terrorist bombings. Pilots Federation alert. Explosions have struck starports across the Alliance, Empire, and Federation in a coordinated bombing attack by the NMLA. The capital systems of all three superpowers, Akana, Alios, and Seoul, have been targeted by the terrorists, as well as six other high population systems. Precise casualty numbers are unavailable, but several hundred thousand people have been killed with many more injured. There are urgent calls for independent pilots to rescue survivors and support repair operations at all nine locations. Doors Hub in the Akana system. Donaldson in the Alios system. Dublin Citadel in the Gateway system. Han Gateway in the Nanamum system. Ito Orbital in the Rear system. Lay Station in the Lay system. Li Qingjiao in the Seoul system. Parkinson Dock in the Eotiansa system. Shajin Market in the Kamad Henyu system. The explosive damage to each station is consistent with corrosive enzyme weapons previously used by the NMLA. This has triggered automated systems designed to respond to Thargoid assaults. The Alliance Defense Force, 
Federal Navy and Imperial Navy are on full alert. Other military and security forces across the core systems are preparing for possible further attacks. The Galactic Summit has been temporarily suspended while Alliance, Empire and Federation leaders respond to the emergency. A full lockdown is in effect in the Sirius system, where the scheduled bounty hunting and trade initiatives have been cancelled. Alright, so it looks like tr yeah, trade initiatives have been cancelled at these locations, but... I don't know if I need a passenger cabin or if a trade cabin would work. No matter what, I say we try to head over there and see what we can do. Let's give it a shot, you know. And if we if nothing comes of it, then we go back to trading. But yeah, so we got our fleet trader. I could use I could use the fleet trader instead of the type 9 because even though it has a little less cargo space, um, it can jump very, very, very far. So let's try and use this. This is kind of our get-around ship. And I don't think we're very far from Saul anyway. So let's try this, and then, uh, worst case scenario, we just come back. And we get a different ship. So, it's gonna look very similar to the Jumpaconda, but the Jumpaconda is more for long, long-distance hauls, like we just did. Um, whereas this one is more for quick transit around the bubble while also hauling um, precious cargo and commodities. So this one has a cargo pa uh, cargo capacity of 416, as opposed to the zero that the Jumpaconda had. So in a sense, the Jumpaconda, the cargo is me, whereas in this ship, the cargo is actual cargo. Hard to say without being there, escape pods need cargo racks that I can say, f that I can say for sure. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm going to go there and just kind of like scout it out and then we'll figure out what I need to do and payment and other related things, stuff like that. So while we navigate out here, let's go ahead and set up for the Sol system. I'm just kind of curious. I just want to go poke around and see what's going on. You know, if I can help or not, I mean, that's neither here nor there, but you know, I just want to know what, what happened or well, I, I do know what happened, but I want to see it with my own eyes. All right, I know there are probably stations closer, but, um, yeah, so, so there might be stations closer that need our help, but I'll go to Saul first because I know Saul is the easiest, plus it's only two jumps. All right, let's go. Escape pods need cargo racks. Might be the case that the stations themselves can have passenger missions for refugees. I hope it's at least one of those. Come on, FDF, give me immersion. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I'm totally okay with, like, using my cargo racks. I don't want to replace my cargo racks with passenger racks when they're kind of passengers, kind of not. <laughs> you know? I, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see what's going on. But no matter what, I do want to see what happened to the station because that's pretty wild. All right, let's go ahead and move around here. And our next step should be Saul. All right, here we go. Everybody get ready. Oh, I don't know what this is gonna look like. It's gonna be pretty intense. All right, here we go. All right, where is it? Lee King Zhao. Rescue ship Lee King Zhao. Wow, that's crazy. All right, here we go. This is going to be nuts. I'm excited for this, though. This is going to be sick. So this is a rescue ship, but this is the station, and that's cool. It's even got the little diamond on it. 
So the question is, do we want to go to the rescue ship or do we want to go to the station? I think we want to go to the station. Yeah, I want to go to the station. I can go to the rescue ship. I think that's what it is. I think you're literally just transporting from the station out to the rescue ship, if I'm not mistaken. All right, here we come. Pulling up on Earth. Interplanetary road trip. <laughs> That's cool. I enjoy that. I enjoy that name a lot. Ancient history. There it is. The birthplace of humanity. Not every day we end up out here at Earth, actually. You know, I don't, I don't really make it out to Sol very often. That's pretty cool. Yep. There's South America, I believe. Let's see if we can turn ourselves here. Ah, we're actually pretty close. We won't be able to, to turn in time. I don't. Well, kind of. Kind of. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that doesn't look good. Whoa. Evacuation procedures. Do not dock unless us absolutely necessary. Holy cow. This thing is ripped to shreds. <laughs> yeah, probably parked next to each other. That's what I'm wondering. I bet they're just offloading to um to that other ship, I think. We'll have to see. Oh, man, this is nutty. Woo! Because I never go to this stuff, you know what I mean? I always just do my own thing. I've never actually participated in one of these, uh, in one of these events. Because I never paid that close attention to Galnet either. Oh, the lights and sirens are on. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe And it's at Earth, too. Like, the fact that, oh... They hit so close to the birthplace of humanity. You almost have to take a, uh... Oh, we're getting scanned. Evacuation protocol. Clear for approach. You may need to deploy heat sinks when you get inside, Commander. What? May need to deploy heat sinks when I get in? Oh my gosh. Proceed to landing pad 10. Oh, do I not have the... Auto dock on? Or is auto dock not enabled at this station? Wow, auto dock is on, but I don't think it'll work. This is nuts. You're on course, Commander. Don't hang around. Yo. And the airlock's also compromised? Oh, ho, ho, ho. yo. I've never been to a place like this before. High temperatures ahead, proceed with caution. Lights and sirens flashing. Yo! Prepare for evac. That's us. We're emergency, uh... Your landing gear is not deployed. We're an emergency vessel. We're coming in to help. <laughs> oh my god, this is sick. Alright, let's bring it in. Oh my god, dude. Alright, we probably gotta hurry in here if we're gonna hurry up and get this done. Oh, it's a passenger lounge. 
Oh, we don't have any passenger cabins. <laughs> oh, that sucks. All right. Yeah, we don't have any passenger cabins. What about the commodity market? Yeah, no commodities for selected filters, but it looks like they are taking on some supplies, which is interesting. Yeah, they are accepting supplies. Huh. Yep, gotta have passenger missions, or passenger terminals. How's your attempts to docking fix? Oh, I don't think so. I have no idea. Uh, and I can't refuel or repair because it's unavailable as a service right now. Yeah. This is nuts. Oh, I'm in the I'm inside the the hangar. I wonder if it brought me in here to to protect me. But yeah, I'm inside the hangar right now. This is crazy. The whole station is completely destroyed because of the because of the attack today. Uh so oh, it won't wait. It won't let me return to surface, but I can launch. Yeah, the entire station is on is on red alert because of uh, because of the the bombing today that happened. All right, we gotta hurry up and get out of here. Our temperatures are hot. All right, taking a little bit of heat damage. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Oh, watch that beam! Oh, whoa! Oh, ho oh. Jeez. Yeah, we got to get out of here. Our temperatures are on fire right now. Oh, let's skedaddle. Oh. Whew. Okay. Made it out with 50% left. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, this is nuts. Oh my, look at this station, it's crazy. Yeah, the entire thing is just completely destroyed. This is nuts. I mean, you never see stations looking like this. I mean, yeah, it's completely destroyed. Uh, but yeah, you have to have passengers. I might buy up a, um, a python just for the temporary... Uh, just to do some temporary passenger missions. Because I'd like to try this. I think it'd be pretty cool. I didn't quite get to look at what the, the price was on those passenger missions, though. Thought you were going to hook your belly on the slot? Yeah, I thought I did, too. Yeah, this station is in bad shape. Holy cow. I do want to get in here with a python, though, and uh, equip some passengers. I think that would be cool. I think that's what we're going to do today. I know it's the, the road to fleet carrier, but... Uh, hey, what are you going to do when there's a literal bombing that just happened? Uh, so yeah, let's do that. Let's do... I have to look for a, a nearby station that has, um, pythons that will sell me the passenger cabins. Let's see. This is crazy to even hear him say that. Like, he said, you're in the clear, Commander. If you can even make it back, we'd appreciate all your help. <laughs> That's, oh, it's so unnerving. That's wild. All right, let's see if we can find ourselves some, uh, see if we can find a station that has a uh, python and passenger cabins. Let's see, Python, and I'm currently at Sol. So there might be a system, there, there's probably a system, or a station in system that I could pick it up from. Let's see. Uh, what size, um, I don't need first class cabins, I just need like economy. So I guess like maybe a 4D or a 6D, maybe? I can't remember what the, the Python goes up to, I think it's 5. All right, so we're going to go to Easy Akari. We're going to go to Magnus and see what we can do. All right, Easy Akari. 
very cool. All right. Uh, and like I said, it's one jump away. Okay. Economy, it's just refugees. Oh, okay. So let me ask you this then, would, so should I get a Python or should I get like a type nine? Cause I don't think they're going very far. I don't know where they're going. What do you figure? What, what, what would be the biggest shovel to, to get them out of this? Ooh, I'm sparking still. <laughs> My ship is sparking on the nose. I guess I took a little bit of damage there. Yeah, what do we what do we think would be the best the best ship um, for passengers? Like the max amount of passengers. Cuz I don't think you have to go very far, right? <laughs> it's the beluga, the top 1% of the lines out there. It is, um, but I'm looking it up now. It should be... Uh, the Federal Corvette is first, the Imperial Cutter is second, and actually the Anaconda is third. So I may just outfit this Anaconda. Instead of the cargo racks, just replace the cargo racks with um, passengers. So I say let's do that. Let me make sure. So, what is the max size that an anaconda will hold? I think it's a seven. Yeah, I think it's a seven. So, let's try to look for sevens. Um, but, oh, they don't even have seven. So, it only goes up to six. Okay, so I guess just whatever the largest passenger cabin is should be fine. I think it's a six. Let me see. I'll have to try some outfitting here real quick. Let's see. Passenger cabins. Yes, it'll take up to a 6E. So we need to go somewhere that has a 6E. Because I think that will hold... It's interesting. It doesn't say how many uh, passengers it'll hold. Hmm. We'll just go somewhere that there's a 6E and they should have the rest of the stuff there. So it actually is going to be LaCale. Instead of easy Akari. So, let's see. Uh, 9352. So, it's right next door. Cool. Alright, let's go. Oh, it turned out we actually could have went to Easy Akari still. <laughs> oh, well. That's fine. We'll go to this place instead. No big deal. All right. Head over to Gupta City. 73 light seconds. All right, off to Gupta City. I'm excited. I think this will be sick. 
And if it really is only going from the station to the rescue carrier or rescue ship, that's going to be very, very, very easy. And won't require any jump distance at all. But um, I do like that this ship can hold... I, I thought for sure that the Type 9 was better um, because of its because of the size, like how many passengers it could carry. But apparently, um, the Anaconda is number three for top passengers. And the Beluga is number four, surprisingly enough. So yeah, the Anaconda should be able to hold over 202 uh, passengers. Or I should say up to 202 passengers. There we go, the auto dock works here. It's because it's not on fire. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> Don't scrub. I only have so much hole left. <laughs> oh, please don't scrub on the bottom. All right, landed at pad 25. Let's go. And down we go. Very nice. Let's see. Alright, so. Go ahead and hit that and that. Go in here to the Starport uh, services. And we'll go down into outfitting. All right, now we're out here in outfitting. Oh, I like this hangar a lot. Looks really cool. All right, let's go into optional internals and switch out all these cargo racks. I think I'm going to just store them because like, I'm going to come back and get them anyway. We'll store them all. It costs us nothing to store them anyway. And to me, there's no sense selling them because, I mean... I'm going to need them back. So we've got the store them all. And I'll even store my fuel scoop too because uh, the fuel scoop, we only need it uh, when we're doing those jumps. We don't really need it for this. Yes, very cool hangar. Very not on fire. 
much cold. <laughs> exactly. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. Not hot. <laughs> oh. Exactly. All right. So we're going to keep our Guardian frame shift drive. Well, I guess, actually, you know what? We don't need this either because, uh, yeah, basically. So Super Cruise Assist, uh, I don't think you can put a cargo rack there. Oh, you can. Well, not a cargo rack, but a passenger thing. So I would almost argue, let's let's do everything. I mean, because this is basically just going to become a passenger ship for the time being, and then we'll come back and get our entire loadout again. And all we need, all we have, is the planetary approach street. Cool. Okay, so passenger cabins are they always going to be economy? And that's it. Like, does it matter? Hold on. Oh, it can hold 32. Okay. As opposed to these that go higher. I got it. So, yes, a 6E is going to be our best bet here. And we can get a bunch of these. Oops. 6E. What does a 6D do? 16 versus 32? Nah. 32 all the way. Let's go. We got this. We got to rescue the civilians. <laughs> we got stuff to do. We got to rescue people. The place is on fire by golly. <laughs> oh, and yeah, I, I just realized we don't even need the advanced docking computer because um, we, we have to land it manually anyway. So, yeah, there's no reason to have the uh, advanced docking computer. All right, so this is where it's going to get interesting. Go back. Uh, 5C will hold six. This will hold six business. This will hold eight economy. Ah, oh, that'll be good. Okay, so let's do it. So everybody's, everybody's going to be economy anyway, as far as I can tell. Six, three, six, three, eight. Yep. Gonna be another eight. Cool. And another eight. Very awesome. Okay. We got another five here. Wow, this is nuts. Oh, this is the military one. Oh, can we not do... Okay, we can't even use this at all. That's fine. We'll keep it empty. Okay. And another eight. Wait, right? Wait, what? I, oh, pfft. <laughs> wrong button. There we go. All right, another eight. Perfect. Oh, man, we're going to carry so many passengers. This is nuts. So many. So many. I can't carry this many passengers uh, normally. I didn't realize this was better than a beluga. Why do I even own a beluga? <laughs> uh, all right, let's go for a two with the passenger slot. Where is it? What? Oh, do they not offer a two here? I guess not. They don't offer a two. So, okay. Well, then, you know what? I will... Put my stored modules back in those slots. So let's go Super Cruise Assist. Transfer to this slot. Beautiful. And the docking computer. We can transfer into that slot. And there you go. Alright guys, we're fully outfitted. So let's do this. Let's go save some, uh, some passengers. Sweet. Alright. I'm, I'm stoked about this. Rescue mission, ho!
Hey, I'm back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Something hilarious just happened in the studio, and I apologize for the delay. Oh my gosh! All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> let's go pick up some passengers. <laughs> oh man! All right. Oh, ah, darn! Don't you hate when you forget to to lock on your target and you think you're actually targeting them, but you're not? All right, let's go back to Saul. Here we go. Okay, on our way. Hey, what's up, Dominic? How you doing, man? You're back, WSP. What's WSP? All right, back to Saul. Here we go. Woo! Jump. All right, onward we go. Rescue missions. Let's go. So you said unless it's an engineered sleeper beluga like the black and red one from that one time I watched it outmaneuvering Kill the Corvette. Oh, true, 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 true. Yeah, no, but that's true though. But oh yeah, so the Anaconda can actually hold um, 202 passengers, whereas the Beluga can hold 184. I don't know how many I'm holding though, so let me double check. Passenger capacity. Oh, how can you tell? Does it not? What's the easy way to add this up without doing the actual math? Isn't there a way to do it? I don't know. I'm sure it'll show up. Anyway, we're here. Let's go. Back to the ship. We got to save the people. I know I don't have any shields. I probably should be carrying shields, but I think they'll be fine. Also, I wonder how these passengers will react to bumping into things. Not really sure how that works. Also, I wonder if I can... I don't think I could use the auto-launch either. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I have auto-launch and auto-dock enabled. I know I can't auto-dock, but I don't know if I can't auto-launch. I don't think I can. But I'm pretty sure the rescue ship will be able to auto-launch. So we'll have to see how that goes. Also, if the rescue ship has... Uh, has the ability to um, repair, that would be great too. Yes, exactly. Remember to dock quickly but safely. Don't overheat. Exactly. Yes. All right, here we go. We're coming up on the ship. Hello, Earth. Our lovely planet. Let's see. What, uh... Let's see what side of the planet we're on this time. Looks like South America again? Because there's Africa down there. Or is that North America and I'm at a very odd angle? Can't really tell, to be honest with you. I think that's Africa, so we may be... Yeah, I see what side we're on. So that's South America. So we're on, we're facing South America. So there's Africa and South America, and I can actually see where Mexico starts to connect up the top left. All right, let's go. Oh, the music here, though. All right, we're coming in for the rescue effort. I'm going to try to see if, if I can turn up the uh, the audio just from the controller. Oh, no, the voice volumes. All right, we're, we're all good. What's DTS Headphone X? 3D immersive listening experience on any make of headphones. Oh, why am I not using this? What? Extra immersion? Give it here. I need more immersion. All right, we're coming in. Prepare your stations. Access granted. Prepare for sudden course adjustments as you enter. All right, we're coming in. Making sudden course adjustments. Oh, this gets scanned. A rescue vehicle. Am I chill? I'm here to help. All right, there's pad 25. We're going in. Got to go fast. Landing gear down. Commander, 
No lie, one actually exploded on me earlier. That was crazy. I was not expecting that. All right, back up. Come on, I went in too fast. Darn it. Come on, set her down. All right, we're in, let's go. Go, 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 go. Everybody board, everybody board. Let's go. That's so crazy that it automatically puts me in the hangar because it's safer down here instead of exploding up there on the pad. That's nuts. Oh wait, does it say that? Wait, emergency protocol initiating? Yeah, that's what it is, so it automatically docks you. All right, let's go in here to the passenger lounge. Let's talk to him. Hello, passengers. Oh, the payout here isn't that great. <laughs> All right, that's fine. All right, 220 thou. Let's go ahead and pick a cabin. Ooh, that, oh, that's so cool. Oh, it just, oh, it bundled it all. That's cool. This is sick. Yo, Deimos, check this out. Check this out. So basically, it combines all your cabins into one block, and you just pick them all up instead of picking individual cabins. I like this. See, I want to have this for everything. I want it for Robigo. I want it for any passenger missions that I ever do. So I don't have to pick the individual cabins. It'll just automatically slot them in. That's awesome. That's so cool. So I literally just pick the uh, the top the top paying uh, refugees. This is cool. I like this. Very cool. All right, go 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 go! Everybody board the ship. All right, let's see. Two sixty four. I'll take you. All right, let's see. One twenty two. I'm taking only the Elon Musks of the group. <laughs> Yeah, right? Why don't they do that? That's what I like. It's sick. That's awesome. Hostile ships may be sent against you. I can't... Im really? Actually, though? Okay, cool, though. So, see, transport 24 refugees to rescue ship in the Sol system. You will receive payment upon successful delivery. Safe travels. So, I don't think I could see me getting hostile ships being sent against me. I, I don't know. But, yeah, this is cool. All right. And I only want the the most expensive missions. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I, I am a capitalist, after all. Or at least my pilot is. Alright. Let's see. 189. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty good pick right there. Alright. Let's see. 165. 160. Uh, yeah, it's got to look like that 165 was a good one, and then we're also going to take the 160 as well. There's another 165. Alright, we can accept four more passengers. Who's coming? Four more, four more. Who wants to pay the most? All right, let's see here. It says seven out of eight, but the requirements aren't met. It's supposed to usually just remove those. All right, I want exactly four passengers on board my ship. So it looks like we're gonna take these guys. All right, guys. We got a full tug. We'll be back for you, I promise. <laughs> All right, here we go. Everybody ready? Oh, how many passengers we got? I wanna see this. This is cool. I'm enjoying this. Oh, see? That's how it should look. Look at that. <laughs> he said before getting shot fresh out of the slot. Shut up. You don't know. <laughs> Yo, but look at this. See? It auto-slotted them, though. You see what I'm saying? Why doesn't it do that all the time? That's so nice. All right, let's get out of here. Go, go, go. Rescue mission underway. As it takes us off, rescue ship. Rescue ship inbound. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Dude, it's super crazy that, like, I, I went to land, and then it exploded me off the off the pad. Like, it exploded and hit my nose. 
and it blew me off the pad. It was crazy. So those explosions you're hearing are actually real. All right, taking heat damage. Let's go. Out of the mail slot. Here we go. Go, go, go. We're starting to heat up. Got to go. Got to go. Oh, hull breach attack. Go, go, go. Whew. All right, we got it. I saw that completely cough, caught me off guard. Yeah, same. It just hit me right in the nose. This is nuts. All right, here we go. See, I imagine my fleet carrier being just like this, where I can park it like five megameters away, and it's super easy to get to whenever we do like trade runs and stuff. I, I see it being very, very easy. And I still do have my um, caught an explosion out the door there. I did. I did. It was nuts. Yeah, 3%. But again, these aren't regular uh, passengers. So they don't get super pissed off at you for bumping into things. Hey, I got promoted to Pioneer. That's pretty nice. All right, coming up on the rescue ship. Whoa. Okay, just kidding. Passing the rescue, rescue ship. Wow, there's a lot of stars in this system. Hello, Earth. All right, just spinning around here trying to get to the rescue station. Come on, rescue ship. Try to get to the rescue ship. Uh, oh, press the disengage. Oh, we're here. Oh, sweet. I'll do that. Nice. Woo! We made it with this batch. We saved them. Well, we're not down yet, but we're, we're trying to save them. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that ship, though. Isn't that sick? It's cool. It's got gravity rings and everything on it. This is nuts. I d I've definitely never participated in something like this. So I don't think the pay is going to be insane, but I think this is a really cool, like, different thing to, to do than just the traditional grind, for sure. Where do I dock on this thing? Hold on. All right, docking request granted. We'll let the uh, auto dock take over here while we uh, figure out what the heck is... Uh What's going on? This is cool though. Oh, I love it. This is sick. Oh, there's the landing pad. Right there. All right. Very cool. I was wondering where the landing pads were. All right, landing at the rescue ship. Man, these passengers are going to be stoked. They're going to be like, thank you so much. I feel like you're welcome. I was the dude who did the thing. <laughs> I did what I must because I could. Hey, we got landing pad number one. Sweet. Oh, this is a cool station. I like this. Oh, <laughs> it just took the little red thing away. Hey, we can repair and refuel. That's nice. Like I said, I knew we weren't going to go very far, so as many passengers as I could take, let's take them. Uh, I still don't know exactly how many passengers I even had. Uh, so we got eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Uh, so 38. Or 48. Whoops. <laughs> I'm good at math. What are you talking about? Okay, then we've got a 32, a 32, and a 32, and a 32. So, four 32s plus a 48. Uh, so, 176? That's not bad. I'd say we did the best that we could. I don't know how else we could have got more uh, on there to get closer to 200. Unless I totally did my math wrong. Okay, let's go to the starport services and get these guys dropped off. All right, passenger lounge. Hello. Yep, there we go. Plus reputation. So this is a really good way to farm some reputation. Uh, 
in Saul. Uh, and, I mean, God knows I need some rep anyway, so. Never hurt. Alright, 23 refugees. 220 thou. 18. 23. Perfect. Yeah, and see, we're just we're just racking up that rep. Very cool. Now I could go for the higher rep, but I am going for the um, credits first. So I could go for the higher reputation, but um, I think the credits will be better. Oh, so actually, that that, that comes to that reminds me, uh, we actually probably could make some really good money from this, because if our reputation was higher, the missions should pay out more. So, like, for instance, if we only took 10,000 credits, but we took the higher rep, um, it's only one extra higher rep, though, so I'm still going to take this one. Uh, but because we gained higher rep with this station, uh, we should be able to, um, in turn, get better payouts for this next trip. So, let's go and do that. So, while we drop down here, let's head back to the station, pick up some more passengers. Now, I wonder, come to think of it, the way that it stacks like that, I wonder if it wouldn't be better, instead of going for the pay, to just go for the amount of missions. Like, get a bunch of parties of two, instead of uh, getting everything. So, I wonder if it would matter. Or if I should go for rep. Let's see. Let's see what the uh, let's see what the payout is um, for this, and if they went up. Because they were about over 200k. So, for all we know, when we actually get really, really... Um, high rep, they might even hit the millions. And then it would really be worth our time. So yeah, this in and of itself could be very, very, very profitable. And I might try to find a way to, uh, to get those extra passengers on board too. Because it says that you can haul 202 of them. Uh, but I don't know how you would get those numbers. So I only have 170 whatever I said. Coming in hot. Slow down. There we go. Yeah, but this is fast. I mean, you can't get much faster than this. I'm coming in. I'm not civilian traffic. I'm here for rescue. We're going to request docking. Access granted. Prepare for sudden course adjustments as you enter. All right, sudden course adjustments as we enter. We're going to do it. Here we go. We're coming in. Prepare yourselves for us and put out some snackies. You're on course, Commander. Don't hang around. Oh, <laughs> all right. We're coming to help. Oh, there was a big explosion. Oh, that will mess somebody up. All right, let's go. Lady gear down. Go quick. All right, but not too quick because we totally passed the pad last time. Attention, Commander. Federal forces are on high alert. Ensure you comply with all instructions on approach. Federal forces are on high alert, so you definitely don't want to tick them off. Their station's destroyed after all. Oh, come on. Get it in there. All right, in, in the circle. In the circle. Come on, get it down. There it is. Okay. All right, into starport services. Let's go. Load them up. Oh, okay. I just heard it. It said stabilizing core temperature. So that's a good thing. Okay, 167 thou. But I'm, I'm telling you guys, like, I, th I think I want to go for these rep missions because, like, some of this rep is really good. Yeah, rep plus three, rep plus three. So I don't know, but if, if the if the money actually went up or not, like the credit amounts, I think it's going to take a lot more rep uh, to get that. 
So, but that's what I'm saying. Let's pick up these guys that have, like... I just love that it allows me to do that, where I can just click it in like this. Because, again, if I don't go for the, the credits right away and I only go for the rep, like I said, this is a great way to farm rep. Just look for the triple rep missions. Very, very cool. Alright, got three of these. Three here. This is cool. I enjoyed this. Get all that sweet, sweet rep. Now, I wonder if I should focus on some of these that are, like, a lot closer to the to the end already instead of, like, something like this. Because it's going to take a lot longer to get the to get the rep for it. Let's see. Here's 12. Almost full. Here we go. Yeah, but this one's going to be great for, like, all the rep this time. This is whoa, that's a lot of people. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so uh who else can we take? Got four here. How many more seats do we have? Oh, we have like five seats. So let's see if there's at least uh, I guess not. Alright, that's gonna be a full full trip for us. Alright, let's get out of here. Whoo! Don't warm up too much. Go, 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 go. We gotta go. All right, guys, we gotta get out of here. Let's go. All right, let's go. Heat level's critical. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. Don't scrub. Ow. That was close. Nicely done. Woo. That was close. All right, but like I said, the passengers are not mad if you uh, if you scrub a little bit. Trust me. Oh, oh I forgot to. <laughs> I forgot to put in our location. There we go. Nice. Here we go. It's right over here. Sorry, I had to spin around a little bit. There it is. All right, let's go. Jump. There it is. Go, 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 go. It's actually pretty funny that like you could easily just jump out and then immediately go to 75%. And we're here. Just like that. Cool. I do like that at least half of our trip can be um, auto docked because that helps out a lot. Just with, like, timing and stuff. All right. Back around to the opposite side. And we will land. I love the look of this ship, though. All right. Back to pad one. Looks like we're the only one. Oh, I think, um, I think we are still in solo. I think that's what it is, unfortunately. Because uh, I had to do it when I was at Robigo. So that was something I didn't think of was uh, there there would probably be a lot of other players here if I wasn't in solo play, um, which I guess is for the better. So we're not waiting on pads and some of the other more annoying things. All right, here we go.
All right. Let's go ahead and refuel and repair. And drop off our passengers. This time for way more rep. So here's the time th times three rep. Perfect. Times three rep. So yeah, so I'll go for rep now and then credits later and see if the credits go up at all. It's not really showing the, uh, the meter going up very much though. Kind of surprised about that. So does the meter not go up here, I guess? The meter would go up back at the station, right? Oh, no, there it goes. Oh, okay, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> that was weird. Had kind of had to update there for a second, but yeah, there it goes. That's much better. Yeah, that looks great. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that one. I wanted the rep three. All right, that's fine. I missed it on one. There we go. Rep three, rep three. There it goes. Now it's starting to move. Yeah, now we're moving the needle. That's perfect. Outstanding. Yeah, this bar, this one here is uh, filling a lot slower. There we go. All right, and that's everybody. So we've completely filled up the first one. The second one is almost there. The third, or the second one is doing a lot better. The third one is almost completely there, and then that fourth one, we're gonna need to grab as many people as we can. Also down here at the Saul Nationalist too, because I want to fill up all the bars and then see what the um, the difference would be in payout. But I don't know if they'll actually pay more or not. I know that's how it was in Robigo, but I don't know if that's how it'll work for saving uh, our poor stranded civilians here. All right, back to the station. But yeah, I would love to do something like this for, um, with like a fleet carrier. That would be insane. Parking right outside of a system or right outside of a station. All right, let's go. Like I said, de-throttle down to 75% right off the bat. Because we are here. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump in. And down we go. All right, in we go. Yeah, we might do this a little bit more, see what uh, see what comes of it. And if it's not super profitable, we might go do something else. But this is really like, oh, just seeing this and seeing a station like this is really wild. Oh boy, coming in hot. Let's circle around here. Came in a little off target. There we go. All right, let's turn around and try it again. Remember, if you don't get the landing right the first time, you can always go around. Cool, there we go. Go a little bit slower this time. All right, here we go. Landing gear down. Watch out for explosions. Oh, 
past it. Ah, oh, come on. Go back. Come on, go back. Oh. Come on, let me down. Let me down. Hey, that was pretty close. Nice. Alright, starboard services. Let's grab some passengers. Alright, so we're looking for times three rep here. Uh, it doesn't look like it changed the payout that much, but hey, it never hurt to have really good rep in Sol, you know? So I say let's try only for the factions, though, that need rep now. Let's do that. All right, and this one will be a times three rep as well. Very cool. What about this one? Is there one four rep in here? Ah, this is just normal, but ah, it's not bad. Okay, because I really want this one. No matter what, I really want to get this one kind of to be higher. And then this one, I think we could absolutely cap off this time. Very cool. Alright, so we can cap that one off this time. This one down here needs some. So let's do that. And then, yeah, we'll take the rest too. Cool. Alright, so they're completely tapped out. I want to make sure for sure that this one's going to get it. So let's go ahead and grab the rest of these. And then, yeah, this one desperately needs more rep, so let's do that. Okay. And I th think that is everybody. Yeah, so every station is completely tapped out except for this one. So we can just grab one from somebody else. So this will work. Nice, perfect. Full load, let's go. All right, off we go. Let's do it. Save the people. Taking heat damage. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. All right, no loitering today. Gotta go. Oh, taking a little bit of damage there, but not bad. All right, we're good. All right, let's do it. Let's go. There we go. All right. Like I said, we might take one more trip, and then I think we'll call it here and uh, go do something else. I think that'd be cool. Oh, <laughs> came in hot. Slow down. There we go. Cool. Takes it a second to dock, doesn't it? Come on. Where's the pad? There's the pad. Okay, cool. Well, I don't really want to cancel it. I guess I could. Try to expedite the process a little bit.
There we go. I don't know if I would be straight on or not. Let's see what it does. How it'll correct my uh, position here. Oh no, it's perfect. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. And down. Perfect. Ooh, cost a little bit more on that one. <laughs> a little bit of damage. Cool. Passenger lounge. Let's go for the rep. Oh, not that it mattered. That, that one could have been for the money. <laughs> All right. Go for the three rep. Three rep. And I guess this will be a rep times two. Okay. Rep. Hey, filled it up. Nice. The rest can be for the money. So let's do it. That's awesome. Hey, there we go. All right. Next one. Reputation. It's probably only going to take like two. Check this out. Oh, yeah. There it is. Filled it right up. So we can do the rest for the money. Oh, 220,000. Thank you. All right. Now this one's all about the rep. Yeah. Uh, rep plus two versus rep plus two requires cargo space. Nah. We'll go over that one. Okay. Rep plus two. Nice. And do we have any more? I think that's it. I think we got all our passengers. So there's still two more. Uh, but I think... Yeah. I think I'm going to have to call this one here today. Um... This was fun. I really enjoyed this. I know it wasn't particularly on topic. Uh, so is this decently profitable? That's a great question. I would say probably not. Uh, because I only made... Uh, well, I, I wish I could do the math on it. But I want to say that I only made like max 200k um, on some of these. And they're like 23 people each. Right? So... Not really. Um, here's what we'll do. We'll do one more. So we'll do one more. I'll do one more. And we'll see what the profit is this time uh, to do this. And if it's worth it. Or if it's just kind of like a fun little excursion to check out and do. Because, you know, it looks pretty. You know, it looks cool. Or it feels cool to be saving the people or whatever. Um, but is it really worth it profit wise? Um, I will let you know. I don't think so based on my numbers. Cause it wasn't exactly like I was turning over insane amounts of coin for moving these, uh, passengers, but, um, I mean, I guess it depends on how you see profit too, because the whole thing of like how fast you can turn it over, um, because of just how close it is. So, yeah, uh, I'll do a stopwatch. I'll base it on my speed. You know, I'm not going to speed run uh, not using the auto dock or anything like that. So I'm actually going to include the auto dock with it because, to me, that is normal playtime for me, right? Like, that's normal run-of-the-mill, like, gameplay experience for me. So I always auto dock. Um, so I will use the auto dock in this. Uh, I will start the timer from the time it takes me to get there, not get back. Okay? So, not including coming in here to land or anything, we're going to do the math on it, and then we're going to see how long it takes me to get over there, and then I will actually math out that times two to, to see how much it would be worth per hour. So, let's do that. So, let's go in. What we'll do is we'll get in, we'll dock, and we'll find out what the, um... Priority access granted. Hope you can help out, Commander. I always like to hear the, uh, because it's so different to me. I like to hear what the controller says on my way in. Um, but no, I'll math what it costs, or what it takes to get over, like, get in, get out, and get over there. And then... We'll divide that by two because that'll be what it is per hour. 
Whoa, look at that big explosion right by the front door. All right, here we go, coming into land. I just like look. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we got we got hit. <laughs> we definitely got hit. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. Yep, we definitely took a hit on that one. All right, we're down. Be going to starport services. Basically, I will time it from the time it takes to launch. Right. So let me go ahead and grab a stopwatch here. I, I'm not going to put it up on screen, um, but I, I just want you guys to know that I will have a stopwatch here running uh, for this little contest thing. So let's get in here, fill up on passengers, uh, looking for the most profit. So let's go ahead and go for that 232,000. We'll pick them up. Let's go for... 200,000, 200,000, 214,000. Uh, yeah, so let's grab these. Let's do the 199 and pick that up. Let's do the 214,000 and pick that up. We'll pick up the... Oh, where was it? Can't find it now. There was another 200,000 on here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, there's 144,000, 167,000. We'll pick up that one. Okay. 127, 144, 136. So, yeah, so let's go 144. And accept. Pick up 136. Accept. Pick up 123. Uh, we'll pick up the 127. Let's see. 100. Oh, was that a 32? 132. Uh, we'll take the 123. And I think that's it. I think that was that everything we could hold. I think that was everything. I don't think we can take any more. Let me try. Yeah, we are completely full. So let's go in and do the math and find out how much we have um, in transactions. So this one's gonna be 123,482. So I'll do some quick math here. 123,482 plus 132,529. Plus one twenty seven one forty uh, plus one thirty six five sixty six and then we got one forty four five eighty. One sixty seven six thirty eight two fourteen. Uh, let's see, two fourteen six nineteen. One ninety nine oh seventy. And finally, two thirty two seven ten. So this trip is going to be 1.478 mil. So it's 1,478,334. So basically, this is going to be roughly 1.5 mil. Now, of course, it's going to be up to R and Jesus to give you any time of day whatsoever. Uh, but as for this run, it's going to be 1.5 mil. So we'll launch it. We'll start the stopwatch. And here we go. All right, 
right, let's go. Oh, explosion right on the pad. Holy cow. <laughs> it knocked our nose off to the side there. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get out of here. Here we go, right at the numbers. Nice. There we go. Okay, so let's head up to our destination. Fast as we can. And as soon as we can, we will try to jump it. All right, there we go. And jumping. And I think what I'll do, because I didn't spend the time to, um, because I didn't take the time to time how long it takes me to select missions, I think what I'll do is actually utilize the time to sell missions, which is arguably faster. So I think that'll make it more even. So here we go. We're boosting in as fast as we can go to get to the rescue ship. I'll go ahead and request docking so we can see what pad we're going to. But I will land with the auto dock because that'll enable us to hopefully land faster. All right, so we got pad one here again. We'll go ahead and slow down, let the auto dock do its job. So far, we are at 2 minutes and 15 seconds. I'm willing to bet you could maybe make this round in about 5 minutes. Um, so, it's up to you. 1.5 mil every 5 minutes, but you have to do this constantly. Over and over and over and over again. And still pray to RNG Jesus that you actually get some decent passengers um, when you do it. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. So, here we go. About to touch down. Down. I'm not going to stop the timer because, again, I'm going to wait until we sell the passengers. And then we can stop the clock. So, let's get in here and sell all of our passengers off. There we go. So, let's do this. And you can do this pretty quick. You can actually just click through these. Uh, and if you keep smashing the space bar, it'll basically allow you to clear out your refugees quickly. And it's much faster than when you pick them up. So there we go. And that's our 1.5 mil in the bag. I'll go ahead and stop the clock. We're at 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So basically, you take that and times it by 2, because the amount of time that it takes to get back, plus get in the station, plus request docking, plus request all those other things, um, and pick up your passengers. So you're looking at about roughly 6 minutes, I would say. It's basically three, 3 minutes and 30 seconds, 3 minutes 25 seconds, is what I have on the timer. So 3 minutes, 25 seconds, 91 milliseconds. Uh, 0.91 seconds. So... I would say, yeah, basically seven minutes per run times, you know, so you figure, let's see. So you basically could get away with like eight runs an hour. Okay. So you figure eight times 1.5 mil is 479, something like that. So 1.5 mil, you're looking at about 12 mil an hour. So there we go. So there's there's your math. If you were to just go absolutely nuts with this and do it constantly for an entire hour, it would net you 12 million an hour. So yeah, there that's that's your number. Um so is it profitable? Kinda. I I think according to FDev it's profitable considering that most of the best paying gigs in the game will net you roughly like 22 mil an hour or uh, sorry well actually so it'll do 22 mil a trip so this does 12 mil an hour yeah 
So that's what I'm saying. So some of the best stuff in the game will give you 100 to 200 mil an hour, um, whereas this will give you 12. So I don't see it as being profitable. That's why I, I was hoping that maybe it starts out as 200,000 per, uh, per mission, per individual passenger, whatever you want to call it, per group, I guess. Um, but I was hoping that as I got the rep up, it would actually be worth more. So that way you don't start out making a crazy load of money. But if you do this enough and get the rep high enough, you would be able to make, you know, hopefully millions instead of just a little bit. But according to this, uh, that doesn't appear to be the case. I don't think the rep has anything to do with it. So all in all, um, a lot of fun. That was neat. But beyond that, I would argue that um, it's not worth it financially. So I'm going to head back to... Where did we go? I think it was Easy Akari, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and go get my stuff and sell these passenger terminals. Now, I don't know if other stations would pay more. I have no idea. Um, so what do you think? I'll leave it up to you. Do you think we should go check out a different station and see if the price would be different? Sorry, I'm just pausing to to see if that's what you think we should do. Maybe next time. Uh yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Like, well uh I'm not sure cuz I I'm I don't know how long this event is going to be going for. So, I don't know if I need to just go over there and check real quick. Um, I am in an anaconda, so I can jump really, really far, really fast. Um, but I'm thinking about heading over to another station, seeing what that station A looks like, and B, um, how their um, how their payment is. And then I think that'll give us an idea. And then I'll probably go back and sell these passengers or these passenger um, compartments and put my stuff back on for the. Uh, the passenger compartments and my fuel scoop I don't have my fuel scoop so yeah I think that'll be a good idea so what's uh what's one of the other stations I have to look in the in the thing I know there's a small group of them in here in Galnet uh and I don't know which one of these would be closest to Saul. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know which one of these would be anywhere near Saul. As far as distance. I don't know. Let's go to the gateway system and go to Dublin Citadel. That sounds pretty cool. I don't think I've ever been there, so let's try it. Okay. Gateway system. All right. It's right up here. And it looks like we can jump there in about three jumps. Yeah. So that's not too bad. So yeah, let's go to the uh, gateway system. We're going to Dublin Citadel. And we'll see what they're up to and how it looks over there. Or if it looks exactly the same or a little bit different. I don't see me traveling to all six uh, or all nine stations that uh, got attacked. But I do see me at least jumping to like these two or, or a couple or something to see if it's all the same or if it's different. Let's go. 
Let's go see what this uh, what this station looks like. Definitely gonna need to scoop off of this real quick, and then we'll be able to go. Here we go. Like I said, only two more jumps on the highway here. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get it supercharged. Come on, do the thing. Supercharge me. Sometimes, sometimes it do be finicky though. I know. Charge it. <laughs> Charge it. Oh. Is it really going to be stupid like this? I don't I don't want to have to do more jumps. This is going to suck if we have to do this. Ah, uh, man, come on, just charge it. <laughs> just charge my ship, just supercharge me. That's all I need. I need to go over there. I don't think I could make this. I, I don't want to make this jump all on my own. I want to use the. Uh, I want to use the boost. So let's see. Where's the star? Yeah, I know, dude. It's it's so annoying. It's the worst. <laughs> like why? Why can't it just fill me up on the first go? All right, here we go. Get into the tube. Come on. Whoa, too fast. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on. I just needed to, to supercharge once. Oof. It's really going to be like this. And then, unfortunately, it's going to be this. And then we're going to end up not using it at all anyway. And just ignoring it and jumping on our own. All right, come on, supercharge me. I'm ready. I want to go. <laughs> Charge my ship. Is there a particular like thing that I have to do for this? There, there really shouldn't be. Come on, charge. Charge me. Really? All right, forget it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done playing with it. Let's go. We're jumping around it. How many jumps is it? Three. Exactly. Let's go. <laughs> I'm done. Don't care. Done. We'll jump around it. All right, here we go. Oh, gotta go up this way. Jump again. Another. All 
right, here we go. I think there's one more jump after this one. There it is. Gateway. Whew, almost made it. Let's go. Off we go. We finally made it to Gateway. So, let's go to the Dublin Citadel. Oh man! So I wonder if this is actually going to look exactly the same. And I, I'm very curious about the uh, about the credit situation. All right, seven seconds to go. Here we are. Here we go. Whew. A little unnerving, not going to lie. <laughs> I'm wondering what the station's going to look like. It kind of looks the same a little bit, but it, this one's got a big ring around it, though. I don't know if the last one did. I don't think it did. I don't think the other one had a ring or anything. Oh, man, this is going to be crazy. Here we go. Oh. Oh man, the look at the broken solar panels. Whoa, look at the giant holes in the ring. Oh, ho, 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 ho. no. Oh, I love stations like these too, especially the green ones. Oh man, here we go. This does not look good. All oh, the music is haunting. Wonder how far the uh the other ship is. Yeah, uh five megameters again. Ooh. All right, in we go. Get ready. Here comes the heat. All right, it kind of looks similar inside, though. Yeah, the interior looks similar. All right, where's our pad? 32? All right, watch out for explosions. All right, here we go. Hey, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that 
That blew me way off course. I was not doing that, in case anybody's wondering. That was nuts. It blew me way off course. All right, here we go. Down and go. Oh, come on. Come on. Slide it in. Oh, no. Oh, not good. There we go. All right, here we go. We're retracting in. All right, let's see what the passenger payout here is. Yeah, it's about the same. Yeah, it's to be expected. Yep. Yeah, actually, you know what's actually really interesting? The payouts are way worse. So I was right. Uh, as you gain rep, the payouts get better. The, the payouts here are, are atrocious. They're actually even worse than the... Uh, they're actually even worse than Saul. Only some of them that I have rep with have actually gone up a little bit. So, uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. Basically, it's 1.5 mil per trip. 12 mil an hour if you're really, really fast. Um, and all in all, I mean, a really cool addition to the game, like a really interesting thing that just happened. Um, but as far as, like, profitable, eh, not really. So, anyways, guys, with that, uh, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like on this if you liked it. Uh, also, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And until next time, as always, we'll see you. Bye!